Welcome back to P2 Aero and the RANS S21 project. This video, I'll be focusing on finishing up the throttle mechanism for the Yamaha 998 turbo engine. I wanted it to feel like a normal aircraft from inside the cockpit. This meant that I needed a push to open throttle setup with about 3 inches of travel. Many means of reversing and converting the travel distance have been done in the past and this is just my spin on fixing that problem. Before we get started, let's take a minute and check out the sponsor of this video. I worked with McFarland to figure out a good fit for my needs. While this video does focus just on throttle cables, they do offer tons of other aviation parts for certified and experimental alike. I encourage you to go check them out the next time you're looking for something. I'll link them in the video description below. A big thanks goes out to the team over at McFarland for helping me find exactly what I needed and being willing to support the project and the channel. They even have a YouTube channel. It's got videos showcasing different parts as well as guides on measuring and ordering things like custom cables and such. Go show them some love and see what they have to offer. Now you've all seen the first part of my throttle setup that I made a few months back. The base plate is all aluminum and the bell crank is stainless steel and it pivots on a press fit bearing. The ratio of about 3 to 1 happens here, as well as reversing the direction of throw. The next steps are to devise a means of securing that McFarland cable, and to do that I need a hole in the firewall. Stainless is hard stuff, and you'll see here it's time for me to get some new step bits, so take it easy on me. I'll be using an all-metal eyeball style grommet that I found on aircraft spruce. The size isn't quite big enough so I did have to enlarge the hole and although that wasn't difficult I just felt like it was worth noting. The link will be down below if you're searching for something like that. I imagine this whole process would be a whole lot easier if I took the boot cowl off but I decided to just suffer through it.
So with the cable now in place through the firewall, I loosely secured the eyeball grommet and added the swivel end and cable clamp. I found several versions of these online and decided on the ones that you see here for my application, but this style cable is very common in the marine world. They use the names of Teleflex and Morse cable, so search for those terms when looking for accessories. Using cardboard, I designed up a bracket and cut it from some more aluminum. My camera overheated at this point, so unfortunately you guys get to miss that part. I utilized a few stubs on the valve cover to secure everything, and like magic, I have a really good working setup. My original plan was to add a spring counteracting the throttle body return force. However, with everything now installed, it's hardly noticeable. The plan now is to roll with it this way, into ground testing and maybe even flight testing, unless I have an issue with it creeping back to idle. fairly confident that this setup will serve me well. I do still plan to do a heavy duty cable between the bow crank and the throttle bodies, but I'm not going to do that until I'm happy with how things are working during ground run. I feel like I have great control over the throttle position, and the fine adjustment with the vernier assist will be a nice thing to have when trying to dial in specific RPMs. All in all, it's a solid unit, and I'm more than pleased. I had plans to use this cable prior to McFarlane expressing interest in sponsoring the video. I'll never entertain parts or companies on this channel that I don't trust and plan to use, so you can rest assured that my reviews are honest and represent my true feeling towards the product, both good and bad. Thanks again to McFarlane for sponsoring this video. Let us know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one.